This is Big Skinny. Welcome to another episode of Big Skinny's Backyard Cooking. Today, we're gonna smoke some pork belly and we're gonna do it right here on our pit barrel cooker. Now, the pit barrel cooker is a really great device for cooking outside. Um, if you don't have one, you can get one. We have an Amazon link on our website, bigskinny'sbackyardcooking.com. Our Amazon link, get on there. You can find it there. And this is a great device for cooking just about anything you wanna cook. And the cool thing about this device, it kind of reminds me of this old deep freeze my dad, this upright deep freeze my dad had when I was a kid. He gutted that thing out and he made a smoker out of it. He'd hang ribs from it. Now, one of the cool things about this device is you can hang your ribs in here. It comes with some rebar that go through these little holes and you can hang your ribs. And as those ribs are dripping off that fat, that grease is hitting them charcoals and it's sending smoke back up. You can also throw a little wood on there, get you some wood flavor. But anyway, this is a really cool device. You can put your ribs on there kind of set them and forget them, leave them on there for about four or five hours, come back and you got some great ribs. Um, what we're gonna be doing today with the pork bellies is gonna kind of be like the three, two, one rib method. We're gonna smoke them at about 250 for about two and a half hours until we get an internal temperature of about 160 degrees. We're gonna pull them, we're gonna put them in foil with a little bit of barbecue sauce and some brown sugar. We're gonna wrap them. We're gonna put them back on there until we get an internal temperature of around 200 degrees. Then we're gonna take them off of here once again we're gonna glaze them up with some uh, maple barbecue sauce, and we're gonna let them set for about 15, 20 minutes and let them get set, and they're gonna be good and caramelized, kind of a crunchy exterior, and that fat is gonna melt in your mouth. I'd love for you to visit my website, bigskinnysbackyardcooking.com. You can find all of our recipes there, and we'll have all that in the description below. Without further delay, let's get on with the cook. So one of the cool things about this recipe is it doesn't take a whole lot, not a whole lot of ingredients. As you'll notice, I'm using some 817Q, some Joe's Dirt, and this I got this from the meat board in Fort Worth, Texas on Camp Bowie. So if you guys are looking for some great meat products, some fresh butchered meat, check out the meat board. It is on Camp Bowie in Fort Worth. Great folks there, they can help you out with just about anything you're looking for. And that's where I picked up this nice little five pound pork belly here. So. But anyway, what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna score it where the fat is. We're just gonna score that, that top layer of fat just down to that fat. We're not gonna go any deeper than that. Just wanna score that fat. That's all you're looking to do. Just score it. Then we're gonna do the same thing here. Just scoring that that fat cap on here. That's just gonna help us get all that flavor down inside there. We're down inside there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take us some mustard here. We're just gonna get both sides of this covered really, really well with some mustard. Good old French's yellow mustard here. The cheese, whatever brand you like. Good healthy dose on both sides. Just wanna make sure you cover it really, really well because uh, that's what's gonna help hold your seasoning, your spice, your rubs on there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take us some of our, granite, or our brown sugar here. We're just gonna rub it in really, really well. This is what's gonna help you build that caramelization, that little crust for the outside of this thing. Ever to be building up. Shove it down inside there. Make sure you can just fill those crevices up with some of that goodness there. Once we get that done, we're gonna flip this back over and we're gonna put our rub on here. Generous amount on it. You wanna cover everything. This is where your flavor is gonna be. This is the base of your flavor here. This is where the base. Man, I try to keep one hand clean. That's it's hard to do. One of the great options you can get for this, uh, this pit barrel cooker, it comes with this swinging gate here, which is really great for throwing a piece, few pieces of wood on there. And we're gonna throw some hickory on there today, some little hickory chunks. We're just gonna throw that on there, give ourselves a little bit of smoke. That ought to be good. And we're gonna stick our our pork belly on there, fat side up. Just in that sizzle. Just 
All right. We're gonna run our meat probe in there and see what our temperature is. And we're gonna cook that thing off till it gets to about 160 degrees internally. And then we're gonna pull it off, we're gonna wrap it in foil. We'll see you then. All right, we're gonna take the, we're gonna take the pork off of the smoker and wrap it up. Maybe, we'll get this to stay down. We'll really glaze it here when we do the final That fat is already good and smoky. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this again. Sure we trap all that liquid inside. All right, we got it wrapped. We're gonna put it in here, let it cook the rest of the way till we get ready to glaze her up. We should be good to go for about another hour or so. We'll come back and check it then. We are literally on the home stretch here. So we're gonna unwrap this. All that goodness over the top of that. Put that fat side up. I just want to let that caramelize and set up. Once again, I want to thank the boys from uh, TheMeatBoard.com for providing me this sauce. And uh, all we did on this sauce was mix some garlic, some of their Joe Dirt barbecue sauce, a little bit of maple syrup, some mustard, and uh, man, we are good to go. There we have the finished product, your smoked pork belly. And as you can see, that fat is like unctuous. It is like 
fall apart. You melt in your mouth. That is good stuff. And there you have it. With five hours and a few ingredients, you too can create your own smoked pork belly. Doesn't matter if you're cooking it on a Weber grill or what you have to cook it on. We happen to be cooking it on the pit barrel. And if you like the products we're using, please visit our website and visit our Amazon page and go on there and you can find everything that we use for our outdoor kitchen. Thanks again to the folks at the Meat Board there in Fort Worth for supplying us with the, the rub and the sauce to get this done today. Please, if you like what we're doing, like and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you.